Hello everyone, I'm Sean at Sepator Prod. I'm an audio engineer who loves K-pop. I'm here reviewing this week's K-pop, Fresh Off The Streets. Before we get into that, support me, link in description, buy me a coffee. Vanna Jackpot. It's a cool pop rock track. I love the tempo, it's super energetic. The beat sounds kind of weird, like semi-acoustic, uh, uncanny valley-ish at times. I would have preferred either fully acoustic or a digital sounding drum. The guitar's great throughout, it's mixed really well. On occasion the vocals sound a bit too affected by auto-tune. Maybe some other effects were in their delays, reverbs, but overall it's a great energetic performance. It's a really fun track right here. A Boy Cold with Leela Mars, I Can't Be Cool It's Cold. I love this take on Korean R&B. It fuses it with the dance hall beat. Boom, da boom, cha, boom, da boom, cha. Brilliant. The production is pretty good. I love the scratchiness of the drums on the mid highs. The low mid's a bit crowded though, especially with the keys. It could barely make them out at times. The beat's loud, but I did like that. The bass was a touch low mid heavy as well. If there's such a thing as too thick, this is it. It's a cool track, but it doesn't really stand out. Lee Lamar's performance, great. Changmo came back with a song called Heliot Emil. I'm not sure what that means. I like the glassy samples throughout the mix. It's got a city pop vibe to them. The song in general sounded like the soundtrack to Persona, that JRPG. And Changmo's flow, it's fast. The performance lacks some dynamics though. I think they're affected by the auto-tune on his voice, the dynamics. It sort of makes it one note, kind of plotty. Doesn't overstay its welcome though, this one. In fact, it's actually a bit short. I kind of would have liked a bridge, maybe even a feature. The instrumental is mesmerizing though. I wanted to swim in it a little more. Very good track. Definitely check it out. 2AM, legendary ballad group 2AM came back with the track, Echoes of Love's Journey. This track's quite loud considering it's a ballad. The vocal performance, incredible. I prefer it to If You Change Your Mind, which came out a little while ago. Found a little more emotive this one. The chorus melody, great. It's got a pace to it, it soars, it's performed beautifully. The arrangement stock standard, you know, strings, guitar, etc, nothing new. I'm loving 2AM though, they're being more active recently, they truly are summer K-pop strongest singers. I heard they release more this year. Siori, Broken, I loved the vocal on this one. The intro and verse reminded me of FKA Twigs. It's dark, it's solemn, spacious mix, very cool filtering and verbs and delays on the beat. Harmonies are beautiful and warm, the track's got good dynamics, it crescendos so satisfyingly in the back end. It's an awesome track from Sori, an artist with a great diverse range I'm finding. Uh, Baby Monster. They came back, pre-release single, stuck in the middle. It's a solid pop ballad, unexpected, didn't expect a ballad from Baby Monster, it's really cool. The vocal's angelic, it's fairy-like with its high-pitched soft airiness. It comes in with a beat at the back half of the raps, and it's mixed fine, but it never comes back. It just disappears. I was hanging out for the rest of the song, like, where's that beat? Where's that beat gone? Piano and vocal, though, it's performed really well. The harmonies are beautiful, but it got in the way of the sparseness. It's kind of overproduced, this song. They did a little too much. I maybe would have preferred something really sparse like g-dragons untitled that probably would have made this even more haunting even more emotive but it's pretty good from baby monster eden eternal i just want to shout out this track because it just scratched an itch for me it's tone it's beautiful r and ness <laughs> it's just wonderful check it out eden eternal dpr arctic featuring dpr ian do or die of course, I had to check this out. It's got DPIE in on it, and it's a trance-leaning tune. I wasn't really expecting that. I really like the higher-pitched synth. It's got a cool tone. All the textures are really cool, reminiscent of Rufus to Soul. The track lacked a little something, though. Maybe more dynamics, maybe some variation in the higher elements. And DPIE in has this subdued performance. It suits the track emotionally, but it doesn't give it energy, so the track kind of plods a little. Bobby... Oven featuring Sunya, True Love. It's a pretty cool bop, this one. The bass is a touch loud. There's some cool harpsichord sounding flourishes mixed really wet. It's a cool sound in the chorus. Flow is okay. Oven's performance is also okay. KCM, For You. 
Not too much to say about this one either, but the vocal performance is the best I've heard in a hot minute. Over 20 years in the game, KCM hitting us with a perfect Korean ballad. Ulti, Lone, Lacoste. Ooh, this beat knocks. I love the percussion in the high. It's got a metallic glassy touch. The vocals sitting perfectly in the mix. The flow is okay, if not a little lagging at times. I would have liked some more dynamics. The siren used well. It wasn't so annoying in this one. Awesome track. Bluebell, Monje Malhage. I'll tell you first. This pre-debut from Future Idol Project Bluebell, it slaps. It's got a city pop synthwave kind of vibe. Took me by surprise how good it sounds. Some of the vocal performances, incredible. Despite others being kind of affected, so inconsistent a little. But it's really catchy, groovy tune. Check it out. Super Junior LSS. Come on. I wasn't crazy about this one. It's got obnoxious horns. I've heard that trap beat plenty. It's not as good as Suit Up. I just didn't feel this one from Super Junior LSS. The performance is great, just not my flavor. Basecamp featuring Soul Love. This one has an interesting beat. It sounds like Bake Your In's Our Love Is Great. Or Popo, even. Like, combine the two. Our Soul is great on the track. Great control. Soulful vocal. The production is warm. The performance swings really naturally. I really appreciate how real the performance and the mix sounds. The trumpet solo at the end is great. I really recommend this one. All right, that's going to do it for this week. Uh, I'll see you next week with more brand new K-pop. It's always coming out, always hitting us with that goodness. I'm Sean, at Prod. Buy me a coffee, link in description. Till next time.